another board of inquiry of his own. He was called in. They said, I don't want to comment. I'm too afraid. So we are uh, soldiers living on fear. You see, as a, as a third party, Colonel, I find it very hard to understand how IG is at the college for a month during the time when all of this was alleged to have occurred. Yet IG does not take a statement from you. IG does not come and see you. The course ends on the 9th and you are charged on the 9th. Were any other members charged? Not one single member was charged. And uh, I believe great civilizations of the past, they came down because of such things, where people want to cover up for one another. We're a great nation in South Africa, but if we continue, you know, looking at favors and not, especially in the army, which is the backbone, this is the result. Did IG, to your knowledge, interview anybody else on the course? I know that he did interview Major Martley because Major Martley uh, 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 to, uh, told me as much. And I think somewhere in his writings he says he did go in. I know that he interviewed the uh, Kenneth Lane Hans as well because I've seen some writing via the High Court that came per order to the minister from the High Court where Clarence was making the, more of the allegations about being allegedly called by me a, a fucking racist, sorry about the language. But, so I know he did interview Clarence, who had uh, something against Peter, apparently, but I was never called by And uh, But to your knowledge, the IG didn't interview any other students? I believe he did, but I wouldn't know. I don't have the report. Okay. Remember, the other thing is people were sworn in that what you talk here, that you are called, it's a secret, like we do, but, so nobody knows. I also want to highlight another point. The IG is, a, uh, he was Brigadier General Mashwal, he's now a Major General. He's been to many forums with me, asking for that Board of Inquiry. His defense is one. He says, I was not doing the work myself, Piri. I was doing it with two uh, subordinates of mine, Kenel Mukalake and Kenel White. But I respond to him, I say, with due respect, sir, your subordinates, you are, what's the way? You are accountable to what they do. And number two, when you came to the college and I raised my hand, it was in front of you personally. So in, in fairness, General, you're supposed to review the work done for and say, but where is this guy who raised his hand in front of me? So I, I think it's just, you know, you know, hiding. He is part of the people who are victimizing me that I should never have a career. I must stay, as I entered the year with the rank, I must stay and go on pension on this rank because I dare to say soldiers must be treated equally without regard to tribe, race, or connection. So That would have been my next question that I, that I actually wanted to ask you, um, in the sense that has IG ever come back after to you to come and say, this is what we found seeing boom, 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 boom? No, he's been ducking. I'm the one who's been making, you know, uh, uh, initiative to go to him. In fact, the day I'm charged that I was on AWOL, the one of the charges there on the 6th and 7th, I went to his office, I couldn't find him. I went to Kenny White's office. Kenny White, he also, she dismissed me. She said, where was I? I was supposed to have seen the general or any of them in the past. Days. But I said, with due respect, Kenny, we were people were called. You didn't like foist or put you in. I was wasted, you are late, I'm printing the whole thing. Then later on, uh, Kenneth Mukalak organized a meeting with me, with the general. I went to him and I remember I even broke into tears. I said, but general, you've just destroyed my career. I won't be promoted because the way it goes, I'm going to be charged. And that was that he's been ducking and, and dodging. We created other forums with General Mashwala to explain himself he's been ducking and dodging. And the whole argument is, maybe that's the other thing we should have explained at the beginning of this. The whole argument is that the whole case now is stuck in the military court. I pleaded, charged 2001. I pleaded 2003, or rather, yeah, 2004, but that plea was forced upon me by the judge, despite the fact that I had not received the Mashwala report, which we're talking about. Mm. So after pleading, they had to wait for Kenneth Lainans, who was now in, in, in Nigeria, to come. And in fact, Dross did come, the general, to testify, so I've got his testimony. Uh, in the letter that I'm attaching to the commission, to President Zuma, my commander-in-chief and, and the minister, I've attached some of the, the court procedures. They've testified against me. But then, when the third and last witness had to come, Clarence, they had to postpone, he wasn't there. So the High Court, then when I went to the High Court to say, look, this is going to be unfair, then the High Court ordered the minister to stop the continent until they give me the board of inquiry. In this meantime, I'm sitting here, no promotion. Every time I said promotion, they say, hey, you got a cloud hanging over your head. Can Just to give a background. Can I get in there? Certainly. That, that board of inquiry, who, who did the board of inquiry? It was General Mashwal, he was the inspector general of the army. This general did the board of inquiry himself. 
How would I know? All I know, he said, I'm here in front of you in the, in the course. I'm here to do a present by Chief of the Army, General Romano, to investigate what's going on. That's when I raised my hand. Whether he did it in personal or he, he, he delegated, it, it's neither here nor there for me. I wouldn't know because I don't have the report. Was a preliminary investigation done against you? After the 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 the, 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 the inquiry done by General uh, General Mashwala, then General Trost did his own preliminary investigation. Because the preliminary investigation now, as you you, uh, you have to the person who's doing preliminary investigation, you have to call witnesses, and yourself now because now na buretar is beskal Yeah, you must sit there. They must give their statement. You must ask them questions. Yes. Sir. Did that thing happen? It did happen with one major uh, boss of Karina Bosov, but right there when I was with her, I I, I asked of her to get the board of inquiry of 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 uh, of, of General Mashwala, and um, it was never given to me. But now through the High Court, Kenya, uh, I've also discovered that indeed she did go to the office of Mashwala, the, the prosecutor, and they gave her uh, there is a, there's an affidavit done through the High Court by. Uh, by Kenyan White herself, who worked with Marshall, that they gave her some documents of that investigation of Marshall, but she never gave them over to me during that PI. But the copy of the preliminary investigation, did they give it to you? Yeah, it's part of the of yeah, it's part of the, I had to have it. Although I've always 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 expressed my dissatisfaction that it's incomplete because, because before you appear to court uh, at the court martial, you have to get your preliminary investigation document so that you must give it to your defense counsel. You must study it before time so that you must present the defense during the, the, the trial. Did, did you get it before the, 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 the court martial? Maybe we should go back to definition by PI. Would that in include, for example, the small board of inquiry done by General Dross prior to judging me? If that is the question, no, General Dross also didn't give me that investigation he did. I only got it through the High Court. Uh, much research. So they were hiding everything they have assembled about me and I had to defend myself in the dark. What is they've been investigating, getting statements? But General Trust, as a, as a acting commandant by that, by that time, you cannot do a preliminary investigation by yourself. Yeah. Maybe that's where the definition comes in. Maybe that is the major yeah, carrying carry of If tell somebody to do a preliminary investigation, it could have been done by people from the, the law section. Yeah, it was done by, let's call it Major Karina Bosov. But there was nothing with Major Karina Bosov, anything on the on what uh, uh, the Board of Inquiry uh, ordered by uh, General Trost. It wasn't, it wasn't part of that. I only learned about much later through the High Court. Th there was nothing about the report by General Mashwala. Even today, I still don't have it. That's why the, the, the trial is, is still stalled through the High Court order in the military. It can't continue. At the end of the day, I'm sitting here now. I'm, I'm 50. I'm going to go on pension with this thing hanging over my head. I don't know what promotion is like, but I understand why it happens. Sometimes we think because 94 we got our democracy, now we are relaxing. We need to work hard to build this nation, to defend the gains of democracy. So that would be that. Okay, Colonel, I'd like to come back to the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth charges, the absence of leave. Now, we've done a bit of a detour in terms of IG, uh, but that's a whole different thing because I think there is a flawed procedure. It's just very strange to me that they conclude on the 7th, they haven't given out a report yet by the 7th yet, you get charged on the 9th and then no recommendations, no, um, so, yeah, anyway, that's a whole different ballgame. Um, all right, the absence of leave. Um, now, you said you had left to go and give or to go and write a report to IG, and which they never really took from you, and then you went to go and do your uniform. During your absence or before your absence, did you inform anybody that you were going to leave? Yes, I informed, sorry about the language, I hope I don't sound terrible on, on this video. I informed one of the uh, co-fabricators of the, that I call clients. I informed Colonel Raymond Lindsay, but he is the one who is now denying it. And uh, I have a witness, I've got a list of witnesses here uh, who was there uh, when I asked permission from Colonel Lindsay. That is uh, Colonel, uh, um, what's his name, Yekundu. He's a full Colonel now. Nice. Yes, he's my witness for the first time. Uh, I, I will, I will um, actually after this I'll do another reading of their statements uh, of all my witnesses so that people shouldn't think I'm one to put it about the bush. I've got no, witnesses. I've read the statements. I, I yeah. Okay, so I there was a witness. Them, I, I haven't I, seen I, them, so, uh, yeah. so I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just pitching it. Yes. I'd like to know were there any other members absent from the school as well at that stage? Everybody, almost everybody who had the reason to be out of the course was not inside there. 
because it was we were preparing to, 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 to close up there. So there were other members that were also not in the lecture room, that were also not in Villabias, and that were also not at, at the, yes. or on the grounds of the school? Yes, th that is true. But I became the person in the limelight for being so-called AWOL, uh, I think for two reasons. One, because of the, you know, this blowing of the whistle of mine. But secondly, by that time, General Dross was looking for me uh, either to uh, already charge me or whatever. He was also looking for me to explain myself also for that incident within the office of Kennedy Nance that it happened a month before. Um, so maybe I stood out like a sore thumb because he was looking for me. Are you aware but, of anybody else, if I may ask, are you aware of anybody else that was also charged for being out on that same day? There was nobody who was ever charged on that cause for anything. Ooh, except you? Except me. On the 9th? On the 9th. I was charged with the ninth incident at the same day everybody was packing bags going for home. The so other people were also going to do the uniforms? Oh yes indeed. Were also out in fact, Boston. one of my witnesses, Brigadier General Rebecca Hadeb, one of my witnesses, uh, he in her statements here, which I'll read when everybody's gone just for the record, says she was also out to do, she's surprised why I had to be singled out. But they were not charged? She was not charged because everybody had permission, it was a blanket permission, go and prepare your mess dresses. The chief of the army is going to be there to give certificates. Incidentally, I'm also charged for not being there where the chief of the army is going to give certificates. But then I was not going to be getting the certificate because I had failed the module. So I did not have to be there. But I yeah. did attend still, yeah. but still I'm charged that I was not there. It's yeah. a whole fabrication. Now, this particular fabrication was done between, uh, 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 I, I suspect, Kenneth Clenans and one of the instructors there. Uh, a major, a major or Colonel Dinah, she was the, the a white lady. There. I must mention the colors well so that we don't get confused. This is the woman, by the way, when I'm told Colonel Clenans was confronting Raymond Lindsay for sleeping with the student Bobelo, uh, and then uh, uh, Raymond Lindsay would say, But you two are buddy buddy with Colonel or, or, or Major Dinah. Can we assume that you're also sleeping? Because he was denying sleeping with the student. So I have a feeling that's why uh, Major Dinah could have the guts to assist and say I was absent on a parade where everybody saw me. In fact, as I entered the way I was not supposed to be there, I stood there they, because I, I had no sitting. It was all were numbered. Students, when you complete that course, it's a big, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a little show pump and all that. So they were numbered, number what and what, for people who, have, who get certificate. I was not having a number because I was not getting it. So I stood there, Lieutenant Colonel. I had to walk to Colonel Diana and say, ma'am, where do I sit? I know I'm getting, I'm not getting. But I'm sure that I wasn't there. That's how f uh, fabricated the whole thing is. Okay, um, just to clarify for myself, sir, from what time until what time were you away? Maybe uh, for half the day. Because remember now, I asked from Colonel Raymond Lindsay, because there are two days involved here. There's a day when we're doing the masters. There's another day between the six and seven where I had to go to submit a statement or prepare a statement rather at home with the permission of Colonel Raymond Lindsay. But now, as I realized that uh, I was I was running out of time because somebody told me over the phone that no 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 the IG or a representative from the IG General Stain is here already. I realized that this is late now for any statement a statement to be submitted. So I decided to take the statement that I had written at home to the army headquarters, but I phoned uh, Colonel Linsu again. So I took, that's when I met uh, Colonel, uh, Colonel, uh, Colonel uh, White. Who Was said that on the 6th or 7th, sir? Because I see you've been charged with two days. The 6th relates to um, not being at the college, and the 7th relates to you not being in the lecture room. At, I think the 6th was the day when I went for the IG statement. The 7th was the day when I went for the mistress. And on both days you had informed members? On the 6th, I had asked permission from uh, what you call it, and my witness here, Colonel Kundu, says it. It was strange for Piri to ask for permission because everybody could go anytime. But I did it deliberately because I knew that I was a targeted man. Uh, I always can sense if people are after me, so I, I tried to play clean. 